Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how you can model a bench like this. It's an interesting design, it looks like it has been peeled from the ground. So I will try to model this as a family that can be used in projects later. So first let's go here to family and go new. I'm going to step back a folder so I can go into English metric. And now even though this is kind of furniture, I'm going to choose uh, a generic model and I'm going to choose generic model floor based because it's kind of integrated into the ground. So I'm going to choose this. And before I get started, I would ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you enjoy tutorials like these, I suggest you subscribe. So here we have basically this is the ground or the floor and here we have some reference planes. I'm going to add some additional reference planes, so just select it and go create similar. I'm going to add two here and let's set this at 200 and if you prefer working in some other units of measurement you just go UN and you can change your units of measurement. I'm going to choose centimeters, go OK. This I'm going to put at 40 and let's do the same thing here. and here 20 and here 40. This is basically the ground part or basically where it has been peeled from will be this over here and the actual bench will go over here. And let's add some reference planes just to finish everything. I'm going to put this at I don't know 140 and here as well. Okay, once we've done that, the only two reference planes that are actually quite important are these two, so I'm going to name this one Start and this one Finish. So we know where this bench starts and where it finishes because we're going to be using basically a, a blend to create it. I'm just going to go back a bit, but first uh, let's just well, yeah, let's just create the bench first. So I'm just going to go here to blend. Then I'm going to go set, pick a plane. OK, and I'm going to pick this one, the first one. And I'm going to be modeling from the right. So here we have basically everything. And let's start modeling the bench. So I'm going to start with a simple line like this. And now here is basically where the bench will end up and let's say this is 8 centimeters deep so I'm just going to create this like so and let's say the thickness of the whole shape will be 5 centimeters so let's create something that looks like that and this I'm just going to pull to this center point and let's offset this bench by 5 centimeters so I'm just going to go 5 OK, and then let's connect everything using a spline. Uh, we need three points. One point, second point, third point. And then I'm just going to pull this up a bit. Yeah, maybe pull it out like that to maybe look more natural. Let's eliminate these. OK, and let's do another spline. Yeah, that looks kind of right. And let's just finish it here. OK, that's the first part. So let's go edit the top. I'm just going to set here to 0. So it basically starts from 0 to 0. So from work plane to work plane. And let's model this part. So let's set the work plane to finish. Go OK. And now let's model. So it will look kind of like this. Again, it's 8 centimeters deep, so it needs to end up here. And for this size, let's go 5, meter, five centimeters as well. I don't need this dim line. Yeah, 
it should look kind of like that and let's eliminate this thing and maybe pull it in a bit like I don't know like so and now let's use the spline and now we can stretch it in place and the same thing here let's just pull this up a bit and this as well and then with the second spline you get something like that and there you go so we have the second point we go finish and then if we go into 3d view let's see what we have done it looks kind of like that so now if I go into reference point you can see it goes from first one to second one now let's create this hole over here to do that we need to create a void so I'm just going to go here to void forms void extrusion and I'm going to start off with a rectangle that kind of goes to here and then I'm going to add one of these and then let's trim everything in place okay once that is completed we have our extrusion so let's go into front elevation and this doesn't really look right we need it to go eight centimeters deep so I'm just going to type in zero and here for the start minus eight okay so it looks like that go into level one and now let's go cut geometry cut this with that and you can see it's actually cutting this shape we have modeled over here we don't want that so I'm just going to go here to join or cut and go uncut geometry and go like this And you can see now it goes down and let's change the material of this to maybe concrete it looks like a concrete bench let's find it here I don't know maybe this precast concrete it looks kinda nice and dark and here instead of water like we have on that picture I want to add some grass maybe so I'm just going to go to reference plane and go create extrusion again I'm going to start with a basic rectangle and then I'm going to add this line over here trim everything in place finish and then I go into I don't know maybe front elevation and now we can pull this down and maybe pull it in a bit so it looks like grass is in a, basically a hole and let's add material so I'm just going to go grass and I don't use this grass material I prefer this plant it looks kinda more realistic and looks nicer it's not as dark as the grass material so there you go we have our bench and let's just save it on desktop and let's load it into project to see how it looks like in reality so I'm going to go new project architectural template and let's add just basically a floor that can host this family so I'm just going to model it like so and we have that so just go to 3d bench and load into project and now we can place it like so I don't know let's create a 3d view and there you go the here are our benches so now we can render that maybe using here the race ray trace option Yeah, and there you go. That's this peeled looking bench modeled in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any suggestions for further tutorials, you can leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.